I think you have a bit of a demo for us, lads, do you? Well, yeah, it's yeah, off yeah. the back of that. Stefan Armitage, one of the things that everyone here probably wants to see him uh, back in the England fold for is his ability to poach at the breakdown. We're just going to look at how our number seven does that um, when, they're, when they're playing off the back of a line-out. So we've got a couple of clips of Stefan in uh, action here. Matt's going to uh, talk us through them. So here we go, we've got a line-out uh, set up. There's Stefan, he'll be wearing the number eight shirt. There he is at the back. Just keep your eye on him, goes really hard at the seven mat and then he drifts off in behind. Yeah, he's just put, he's obviously, the, the pressure he's put on the 10 there is forced him to pass wide. He just drops in behind there just to cover, you know, if there's a missed tackle in midfield and he's straight on ball. And he didn't go in on that one, but he went right the way to the touchline. This one, again, hard at the 10, drops off in behind. Because the tackle's made there, he's banging and he's on the ball before the opposition get there. Yeah, just always looking after 10s inside, you know, obviously... Some tens can miss some tackles and stuff, so you can be picking up there inside and getting straight on the okay, ball. Okay, let's have a look with our, with our two demo teams here. So, the attacker on this side in the grey and the red and white stripes, we've got the defence. You, sir, wearing number eight, I think, yeah, Stefan Armitage. So, just talk us through his role. What's he thinking about at the back pod of this line out here? So, first things first is he'll be sort of linking up with ten, making sure that they're, they're nominated and they know who's, whose man is who. And then they'll be talking with the M man here as well, making sure that this guy can pick up nine running. Obviously, each defensive system is different, but, you know, he'll, be, he'll pick up nine running, which gives this guy the licence to go and really fly at ten and, and put the pressure on. And, of course, he's also got to watch for any balls that get bobbled if the, his team do a good job of, of spoiling the line-out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, if he probably starts a little bit more into the line, he can watch the flight of the ball and you can see then if, if it's going to be an overthrow, okay, underthrow, so or whatever. OK, so just walk this guy through and, and, and let him know what his roles are then. As the ball comes off the top here, OK, so it's gone into the ten's hand, so just walk it slowly. So, he'll be putting, obviously, flying, putting the pressure on ten. Um, and the tackle we made in midfield. He's then got a decision whether he's involved in that in, in this collision here. If it's a, you know like a line break like that where the guy falls almost at your feet when you're covering across, it's a great opportunity to get on ball. Um, you're probably not going to win it because it's so well resourced that first breakdown. But you're going to slow it round, exactly. slow it down for the guys coming round the corner. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at that at pace then, and we can look exactly what we need. So set up nice and quick. Okay, so it's come off the top. We'll get out the way. Let's see it at full pace. So he goes hard, drops in behind, and he's there straight away as the ball comes on. And as you said, really well resourced so they can take him out, but he's already slowed the ball on uh, because he's got his hands on it. Absolutely, yeah.